like I'm still active, but working out, like creating a time to like, I like doing things, you know what I mean? I'd rather go hiking than be on a treadmill, you know? But going to the gym, it saves time, you know? But I prefer doing more active things to be fit. But that's an excuse as well, because it's like right now I'm in this point of like retraining my discipline and figuring out like, okay, no, you got to make this a part of your life every day. You know what I mean? I don't want to be a bodybuilder. You know what I mean? Because that's the other part of it is like dealing with body dysmorphia where it's like, you know what I mean? Like you ever take a picture and then you take a picture and you look at it and you're like, oh, that's so ugly. But you don't delete it and you leave it in your phone. And then like months go by and then you just scroll through your phone. And you go back to that picture and you're like, oh, I was looking good. And you're like, what was that thought in your mind when you first were like looking at it? And a lot of that to me has been understanding body dysmorphia. And like, again, that is a conversation I want to have like a group conversation, uh, especially with men in, you know, the gay community. 